Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And if you guys need to be reminded about why I call myself the nutrition genius, I'm being sarcastic, guys. All these other influencers are balding, they're missing their hair, they look like their skin's peeling off. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're given health advice and need to use doctor credentials because you, look, look, the point is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but maybe don't give health and nutrition advice. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what's going on in my kitchen, pantry, and house just so you have an idea of what I've been doing lately. I haven't been feeling so hot. I, I did 30 burger reviews yesterday. So uh, the thing that really helps with that is the water kefir and charcoal, which I will show you. But, you know... I was hoping that doing those reviews would help my business grow even though I'm sacrificing my health. Now I'm in this like predicament where basically once or twice a month I have to basically stuff myself with food that's not, you know, look, if you go like once a week, once a month to have a cheat meal, that's one thing, but I have to go to 30 different burger restaurants in a day. So a little crazy, but I got myself into it. So on the counter here, I have my dinner for tonight. So my Barrico pork tenderloin from Frankie's Range Meat. We got organic white jasmine rice. And these are actually organic butter beans. A little different than cannellini beans. I like to taste more. Of course, we have our pineapple water kefir, which is available on frankiesrangefoods.com. There's some more rice in there. We haven't been doing the cauliflower lately. Over here on the counter, I have some of the beans, which I'll show you when we're in the pantry. I use the Mountain Valley water right now, usually to rinse stuff while I'm drinking the Fuji water. Here's some of the rice we have. That was some... Fiber powder for some plextros. Haven't done the smoothie in a little while. The coconut oil to cook with. Sometimes I put coconut aminos in my rice, maybe like once every two weeks. I don't really use it that much. Over here on the counter is some masticum, which is powdered up in a coffee grinder. This is available on organsupplements.com. I have this with every meal, guys. Very important for H. pylori. And some of you guys probably missed it because it was a few years ago now, but I first started having the H. pylori issues when I drank sheet milk. Uh, probably three years ago now, and it never really went away because it had compromised liver function. So definitely check out the H. pylori video if you want to learn more about that. On the table here, we have some charcoal, which I'll usually take one or two capsules with dinner. That's the glass I'm drinking the kefir in, some leftover, and then that's some aged balsamic vinegar that I put on my steak sometimes. So on the other side of the counter, this is all the produce I eat. I have apples for dessert every day. Everything's organic, of course, guys. If you missed the video on why organic, is basically to reduce agrochemical usage. I think that video is over a year old now. Lemons as well. I need to start using these and drinking some lemon juice in the morning for extra vitamin C. Some organic onions. Usually, like, I'll have a cheat meal where I'll make burgers and I'll saute some onions to put on the burgers. And I bought some potatoes because I need to really uh, make my french fries instead of eating the ones from the store because they always use vegetable seed oils. Here's some uh, bread. We were going to that bakery last week you guys saw. Uh, in the Upper West Side, nice, organic, don't have to make it myself. Water probably isn't that great, but I have been having some sandwich and potato chip cheat meals. So I actually don't have anything in my upstairs fridge right now besides some uh, leftover roast beef from a day or two ago. I guess I do use this mustard sometimes, but that's literally it. Into the dining room, aka my pantry. This is the Fuji water, which we have, and some Mountain Valley water. There's more downstairs. I did get the bug spray labels, guys. We'll talk about this next week, but you get a little sneak preview here. And this is where, well, <laughs> not so much of my food is because I really don't have much variety in my diet. The white rice, organic Lundberg, Smati. These are some potato chips. I showed you guys them last week. The organic Spud Love sea salt and vinegar. They're okay. Still vegetable seed oil, so you don't feel too good after eating them. And then we have the two different beans, guys. Bio Italia, cannellini beans, and butter beans. Ah, uh, you know, they both taste the same, they're beans, but the butter beans have a little more flavor to them. And this is a bunch of stuff I haven't really been using. Maple syrup, I was doing pancakes a little while ago, but too much fat, really. The white chocolate chips, you know, even in those chocolate chip cookies, same, too much fat in my diet. Some extra coconut aminos here. I have some beef broth if I was like making some venison stew, but now I just use the collagen broth from Frankie's for Range Foods. It's much higher quality. This has so many ingredients in it, so I'm not really a fan of this. They even have some like kind of artificial flavoring and coloring in here. This is leftover brown rice pasta. It's disgusting. 
don't eat that stuff. Some oats I never had, some barley for stew, and then that's just a bunch of like coconut milk, coconut cream. Sometimes I'll use it to make the cookies. Sometimes I'll use it to like bread a pork cutlet instead of eggs. I mean, honestly, the only stuff I really use is the rice and the beans, and I've been having the potato chips as cheat meal lately. So we're gonna head downstairs into the garage where I have some water and my refrigerator. Okay. So here is just some water I have. I'll bring up like a case or two of the Mountain Valley a week from the warehouse and I have a few cases of Fuji left. I do gotta stock up though. Now in my fridge, all I'm really keeping is the water kefir, which I'm out of. So since I'm at the warehouse every single day, you know, I usually have 10 or 12 of these filled up with water kefir and then I'll just get some more when I run out, which is gonna be tomorrow morning. Uh, in this is just the meat I've been having. So we have some of just the local ground beef in white paper and then some goat testicles, which I haven't had yet because I kind of need the energy and testosterone boost. But I literally bring a different steak or beef home every day. So the pork tenderloin is what I was having today. I'll never really have more than one or two days worth of meat in my fridge or freezer. I don't know. I, there, there's no reason for me to because, again, I'm down at Frankie's Range Meat every day. I just kind of pick and bring home what I want. And, you know, I kind of like some variants here and there. So thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions about what I've been doing, what I've been eating, please let me know down in the comments below. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, yeah. So when I go do those burger reviews, I'll drink water kefir, have probiotics, charcoal, and masticum with basically every single review. So before I had that and was doing that kind of protocol during the reviews, uh, the first one ever, I just, I felt like I was going to die. I would like, I'm never doing this again, but that stuff did help a lot. And it does alleviate the negatives and damage of a cheat meal. But I would say normally when you do something like that and pig out a lot, you know, you're probably damaging your liver to some degree. You're damaging your gut microbiome and it's pretty bad for your cellular health. But the water kefir, the masticum, the charcoal, that sort of prevents almost all of the damage. So normally, you know, when I'm eating a meal like the pork, the rice, the beans, I'm healing my body, I'm eating something healthy, there's nothing negative in it. It's positive from that nutrient perspective and it also has no negatives. But it, the cheat meal transformation with the water kefir and the masticum and the charcoal, it really just removes the negative. So it's definitely better than not having it and I'm not actually really damaging my health as much as you would think doing something like that. But you guys can go to frank to check out all my businesses. Of course, I'm wearing my Wi-Fi shielding shirt and pants. Feel a lot better in them. Keep moving all day, no real issues with energy. Thanks again for joining guys. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. As I said guys, frank stefanocom